ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together to welcome mr sajid azmi group head it retail arabia Sajid, thank you for coming over. It's a pleasure seeing you always. Uh, it's most important that we start. We've been talking about the customer engagement program. If you could just brief us a little bit about the Happy Me program and what what is the reason why Jian thought about a program like this? Yeah, so you know we have been in business, but we if you see the evolution in the last three years, we actually doubled our stores. So what happened is. Predominantly, this region started as a supplier-driven market. So even the Unilevers and the Nestle's and the P&G, they, they drove what should be on the shelves. And the retailers also went that way. We decided, we, we realized that with 35 million transactions, there are a lot of consumers. Are we going to be moving our customers? We were not, we wanted, we had discussions with consumers, we had panels and they said, you know, we want, we want to be engaged with you. And that started the engagement journey almost exactly 30 months back. And then came you know, the traditional card based or the mobility based. And the digital <coughs> penetration in the market is just, in this region, is amazing. Right? And uh, I'll give you a graphic. We have, we have launched the mobility app, but we have also a facility for non digital customers who do not have smartphones. Today, I have only 0.03% customers from that. We have our options, but people are digital. What we started, the thought process was to thank you the customer, to serve the customer, to know our customer. We, don't want to, we didn't want to go to the market and acquire new customers. We have customers, but are we listening enough? Still the journey is early, it's fifth month since we have launched it, but the response, the feedback has been amazing. Fantastic. Sajid, with Oracle and GoalPoss being the back-end systems within your current landscape, why did you choose Microsoft Dynamics CRM as a platform and what business advantages did you anticipate while choosing this solution? All right, so, you know, we use uh, a system called Gold, which is, I, which is used by a few retailers in this region, uh, which is our ERP. What I realized is, you know, when we were dealing with Gold, Oracle, Okay, as a database, but when I went to the, uh, you know, we went to RFPs and meeting partners, it was very clear, we wanted a simple solution, okay, but yet powerful solution, right? And a simple solution, like everybody used to Microsoft, at the end of this, this has to be used by the marketing team, my sales force, my people on the floor, my store managers, my operation managers. The training curve is very simple with Microsoft. The people, the other thing is, you know, I'm a technology, I run the technology, so I have to get a total cost of ownership. When I met vendors, they have, uh, they have a very closed system. When you have a closed ecosystem, then you, it's very difficult to keep the maintenance, though it is, you know, from a long longevity point of view. There is, Microsoft is a very, is a very open system. I have a lot of people available in the market, more if I'm going out. So these factors, you know, from the ease of use, uh, and also, one of the other thing was you did a great job when you guys came with your sales pitch. So, and when we chose you, I think you did a good job because eventually we were able to stick to our timelines. You know, so we, you convinced us, and I think we did we did an absolutely right thing by selecting it. And now you know, after looking at customer insights, because I'm in the fifth month of the journey, and I have a lot of data, right? And I still will be acquiring more. So I think insights will be the next way to go forward. Fantastic. And what has been the most transformative insight that you have got ever since you have executed the CRM strategy? Uh, you know, you cannot say that there's one transformative, but it's just, you know, the, it's, it's, you know, uh, when Tesco had launched, uh, there's a book on Tesco called Scoring Points for the Loyalty. And this is, you know, it's like drinking from a hose water. So you actually just need to put on the tap the amount of information. You know, we don't, we don't even have right now all our customers onboarded. Correct. Within four months. And the information that we're getting is amazing, right? 
So we thought knowing the transactions, knowing the bills, and getting insights from our key retailers, we used to get. I'll give you a classic example, right? Uh, in January, right? Uh, December, it is an expatriate driven area. We have a lot of stores in different locations. Right? We always stop things according to the movement that have an on shelf availability, right? But we never realized that in three of our stores, for, United, for UK people, and for the French people and United States people, the top selling item in the first 10 days was cattle. Right? Now, and that is amazing. We, we stock cattle, but we never think about the to be the key area, a key value item, or key reference right. item. Right. So you know this is not that you come. And you know, there's also a peril to it. When you get too much information, you can just try to just deep dive, deep dive, deep dive. So we you have to we have to think. How to? What are the key KPIs? What What is it we require to serve the customer better? Right here, you know, what is the delta for this year? What is the delta? And it is an evolution process because I the analysis paralysis is just amazing. You, know, you give somebody information, you say, oh, you know there are this many women. Oh, you know this women is 45 years. Oh, you know, yeah, but what are, what are we doing with it? You know, we we heard about act. Like unless there's no action, right? And you have to create your segmentations. You have to personalize without being intrusive, and that's what the journey is all about, right? Fantastic. So, such just a thought, as a leading retailer, how do you think digital transformational technology has really evolved, and what role do you think Microsoft and Leftech can play on this journey with you? See, uh, you know, I already said that. For example, if you look, had I probably launched five years back, I would have become the cloud system. Right. And I just put it the mobile app, and I have not received a single complaint from any customer. Right? And uh, each of my customers has downloaded the app, they're coming, they're giving us feedback. You know, if you see some of the features which we have there. Shopping list, right? Have you seen how many people are walking in the supermarkets and buy sending WhatsApp messages and okay, buy them there, buy them back? Digital transformation is every day life, and we have the grocery business. Now these shopping list, you know, I'm, today my 60% of my current customers are using my shopping list and that is, out of the 60%, 40% of my customers are using a family list. This is digital transformation, right? And it also, from a regular point of view, you know, they are making this for tomorrow, day after tomorrow. It tells me that, okay, this is have your stocks ready. That's right. Have their ex you know, what is the worst for a customer? He comes in and he goes. Now what happens is, the, the second part of the question is how Microsoft and Left Tech comes into picture. See, we do know uh, it's an relationship. Our relationship has been very productive both for you and for us. Uh, what what happens is I'm getting a lot of information, right? And we are looking at data. And with this kind of you know having Azure and having customer insight, if we are very clear as a business how what we want to see and machine learning coming into picture, these are the some of the things we will be able to serve the customer better. We don't want to wow the customer with technology. We want to serve the customer better. We want to thank the customer better. If we are unable to do that, then we are not doing a job. So I think that's what the goal should be. Perfect. Thank you, Sajid.